So we're walking in. So this is the front entrance. You've got tile at the very front. It opens up to the living room. You have a little uh, dining section or expanded living room section. They put uh, laminate or vinyl flooring down. You've got a little bit of a built-in right here with some lighting. Another built-in here. We can tell that this was a house that they did rentals or Airbnbs in. They have lights labeled, they have um, closets with locks on it. So that would have been like storage for um, the Airbnb or rental person to like put extra supplies in. So this is a nice size kitchen. Granite countertops, newer appliances. You've got a window here, more cabinets and a little eating nook. So it's definitely a nice, comfortable size. And this right here is the door to the garage. Laundry is outside in the garage. They do have a utility sink, which is great, and a door outside. As someone who does the laundry in the house, I will say having it in the garage, you are gonna feel the heat a little bit more, um, but it's totally fine. Best to have laundry on premises than not at all. <laughs> so this is like more of a dedicated dining section. You could definitely put a dining room table here. And this leads to the primary bedroom. This is a really nice size bedroom. This is a king size bed and you still have lots of space on either side. You have a bathroom, an ensuite bath right here. You've got the toilet, walk-in shower. Uh, no light in the shower. This should be door to the garage. So quick exit if you need to, or quick um, access to laundry. Little window, they put a little storage and a sink. Again, this is the primary bedroom. There is a door to the lanai. The lanai is what we call the back porch. It's usually um, caged in, screened in, or covered. But I'm gonna walk you back through the house before we go there. So this is the other side of the house. This is kind of like a split to a split bedroom situation where you have like a primary on one side and you have um, guest be uh, bedrooms on the other. So this is the first guest room. They've put two twin beds in here. You'd definitely be able to fit a fuller king size bed here, no problem. With a big uh, double closet, windows. These are older windows, but they do have screens, which is nice. And they are roll up style windows. Let's see. You may not be able to lift this up, but just want you to see that. So these are roll style windows. So even though this is technically turned, oh no, this one is actually broken. Sorry about that. <laughs> They're just not full pane windows, that's all, which is something that I know Omar will get to talk to you more in depth about, especially down here in Florida. Uh, so this is a hall closet and this one has a lock on it. So that's what we're saying. We can tell that this was probably a, a rental where they would put extra stuff in and lock it so the guests don't have access. This is the second bath. This is a nice size bath. This is really uh, deep. You've got closet space right here, a tub with cute tile, towel, and you have the toilet back here, and more storage, and you have your sink with mirror. So this is a nice, comfortable size bathroom for sure. And then you have your second, or you're officially your third guest bedroom uh, or your third bedroom and your second guest bedroom here so also nice size this is a full size bed you've got the wide closets ac vent up there okay so coming out to the lanai this is a really nice lanai it's a uh, full ac in here some lanai's are not like that. Some lanai's are more outside where you don't have actual doors. You'll just have screened or open. And so this gives you extra square footage. I know that this said this was like 1800 square foot home. 
a majority of that is going to be here in this what was a lanai space that was probably converted to a closed um, space with heat and ac so you've got sliding doors here these are pocket sliders so this opens all the way so you'd have full access to the living room um, it was probably longer and they closed it off they put this paneling here because then you would have had a section for more pocket doors this way um, Let's see if this one is, yep. So here you can see what I mean by uh, pocket. So the glass hides completely. So this is a nice space for entertaining, hanging out. You could probably make it like a cool uh, den area. So this is the yard and the pool area. This is an interesting shaped pool. It's pretty narrow on the one side, long, not necessarily long for a lap pool. It does get deep on this end. Um, out here though, it needs some work um, cleaning up all the growth that's coming through the, um, through the pavers. So you've got the pool cage. And this lot is a bit of an interesting shape in that it's wider versus uh, deeper. So you've got a walkway on one side of the house, fully caged in. You got more rocks on the side. That's great again for um, keeping water away from the house. And just did some touch up here on the side. See the neighbor's yard. It's fenced in all around. Hi. Sorry. <laughs> You've got um, some landscaping back here. So this might be fun for the dog to go through. They had a big tree there they removed. There's the AC handler and, um, actually no, that's the, the pool heater and the pool filter and walking around here. So over here you have like a nice covered section under the lanai so you could be outside, get um, enjoy the air, but not be in the rain if it's raining out. And they installed a fan out here for extra breeze, which is nice. And this is pretty interesting too. It's got all these um, windows, so you could probably lower this completely if you wanted to. Maybe even put a TV out here since they have electricity and be able to hang out outside um, and enjoy the weather, but have it, you know, shut down more privacy and then here's the side yard that we saw from the front the AC handler holes and stuff and the shed okay. you never know what comes out <laughs> just being cautious but just storage 